Hello everyone, welcome to part 13 of my Neverwhere project in Cities Skylines. Last time around I managed to make it to the uh, lofty status of Megalopolis at 90,000 uh, sims. Now that doesn't seem like uh, a particularly uh, large megalopolis, but nevertheless, uh, it is. It really would be nice if it would say why things are, are abandoned, but I'm just going to get rid of those two. because the abandoned building zot was annoying. Uh, I have six citizens there. Huh. Do I have any health coverage there, really? Not really. That should sort that out. Or at least it should help. I may want to relocate these incinerators, of course. Um, because it's likely a pollution issue. Let's speed things up here. Well... I'm going to see if trees help at all. Okay, so um, it seemed like a good idea to put some trees in there anyway. Um, since it's dead space. But it looks like the, tre the trees do die from the pollution. Oh no, that's something spawning there. Okay. Okay. 
Well, it looks like the easy solution here is to take a road off here and don't force it to be straight. Send it off down here somewhere. And uh, relocate the incinerators here. Oh, I suppose I should bring some uh, water in there. this pollution should clear out some uh, and to be sane here I should link those up And these have been bugging me, so I should uh, get rid of the pointless power lines. Okay. Eh, it's a dead tree! So it apparently takes a while for pollution to uh, clear out, which is believable. Uh, I think it is. Anyway, I can leave that area alone for a while here. What other zots do I have popping up? Uh, remarkably few. Uh, I have a dead person over here. And now I don't. Okay. Or maybe that was crime. Okay. So far, so good. <coughs> okay, I think that is improving.
Okay. Whoop. I'm going to put another one of those in there. Parks are cool, you see. I wonder... Oh, you can link them! Cool! You can link the paths in the parks. Wild. Truly wild. That's sweet. I wanted this to be... No. No, that's fine. No, I wanted this one to be gravel, too. Already... Well, it's pretty clear you can do some cool stuff with pathways all on your own. Okay, I kind of like that. I don't seem to have a traffic issue here at the moment, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Even though this is the weirdest intersection geometry ever invented. Okay. Now. Uh, what are my demographics looking like? Unemployment's down. But I still have a demand for offices. 
Okay. Uh, well, in that case... I'm going to... Nope, I didn't get that right. One. No, I did get that right. Okay. I'm going to have to uh, put in some public transportation here soon. Okay. Nope. Okay. Okay. This next development is going to need some city services. Okay, uh, that is city services other than water. start with health care and add some death care then I'll add fire and police there we go and I'll add some park type things. space development. Now, I really should bring Metro Stop up into this area, so I'm going to do that. Where is it? Okay, right about here. 
which also requires connecting it <clears throat> whoops I need to make a line connections. Nope. So I have a bus connection there. Okay. Okay. Oh, I... F oh, the fire department is there. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to get demand for residential now. And that's something that uh, I clearly will need to address here. First, I want to take a look in here. Okay, that's why my population's going down. Um, I have an insane percentage of seniors in the city. That's a rapid population decline. Okay. 
I'm going to reduce my uh, taxes some more here. Now that's going to send me into a budget deficit, or at least it should. Um, though clearly not for long. Uh, how's the uh, demographics doing? It's not. Okay, so what I'm going to start doing now, I'm going to start building out low density residential in uh, new areas. And I'm going to start the first new area here. Actually, no. I'm going to develop over here uh, what zones have I got over here okay so I've got a bunch of residential here I'm going to build a box out here I don't want that one to connect. I want another crossroad. Okay, that gives me a huge area to work with.
Okay, so that's an area there. I'm going to need some services in here. And this is going to be one of those services I need. I'm going to need fire. Nope, that's the wrong one. I'm going to need fire. And police. And I'm going to need education. Okay, that's a new area. I'm going to need some parks in there. I really like this Zen garden thing uh, because it is only 4x4. Four four. So you can put it all over the place without seriously crippling your zoning capability. There we go. That's... Okay, so... I seriously lost a lot of population there. Uh, how's the demographics? It's still bad. Uh, okay. something I really should do here is add some bus routes in the area.
Ah, that's better. Now, where is the... Ah, it's right here. Okay. 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 That's a weird collection of paths, but it does seem to be effective. Since Sims are actually using them. Okay, let's take a look in the demographics again. Uh, children are rising. Seniors are falling. Unemployment is insanely low. Uh, 
okay. Why am I having... I should, you know, take a look in here. Ah, yes, that would be a problem. I need to generate some more electricity. Which is easily arranged. Uh, but not there. Uh... What about here? Okay, that uh, is some, but I can't fit a second one there. Okay. Uh, this looks like a... Actually over here looks like a good spot to put another one. Now, I also need some water pumping. Where's the inputs? Current inputs are over here. Okay. Okay, and sewage treatment, I need to add a couple. Okay. There we go. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. That one is too far back from the water. Uh. Okay. And this one is too. Okay. Interesting. 
I probably should spread these things out. Okay. Well, that sorts out the uh, power issue. And where was I filling in the new area? Oh, it was over here. going to make a highway connection along here. That would be kind of pointless. Okay, so you can see my population has been returning. Okay, the senior count is down quite a bit. back up over 90,000. I was down quite a bit below below 90 earlier. Okay, my budget's back in surplus territory. I'm going to take a look in here. I'm going to lower the taxes on the uh, lower density residential. The idea there, the documentation suggests that uh, the low density attracts families with children, while um, the uh, higher density ones will attract uh, young adults. So if I want to increase the birth rate or the children count, I really want to increase the low density housing.
So I think I'm going to have to, in future parts, uh, build a huge uh, area out for uh, low density residential. I think that should balance out the uh, attraction of the uh, the uh, higher density stuff for the young adults. And also it makes my uh, city look more like a proper urban sprawling area. Well, population has uh, broken 94,000, and that's with only the uh, nine areas, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that are allowed by the stock game, even without the all areas unlockable bit. So it's perfectly uh, reasonable to have a uh, massive uh, city population. Uh, I can see that my uh, budget's gone uh, deficit again, and that's probably because of the people moving in here. take a look in here yeah that's probably why I've had probably had people relocating uh, which uh, is not necessarily bad So basically here, I have one-fifth of my population is uh, children and teens, and uh, it's about three-fifths is uh, adults, and about one-fifth is seniors. Um, now I'm making an assumption that children at least and seniors don't count toward the unemployment rate. Uh, since they wouldn't be working normally. And now there's a good chance that teens don't either, but it, I haven't actually checked to see if that's the case. Anyway,
I've reached 95,000 sims, so I'm going to save the game here. That gives me a, a good save point. Now I just want to check something here. Uh, I want to see... You really can purchase the entire map. Okay, I understand why some of these purchase all all 25 mods uh, talk about fixing the uh, prices, but. Uh, you know, I'm not sure that I uh, actually am upset at all about the uh, the specific uh, structure there. Um, it's interesting from this angle. This looks very much like a real city with roads going in weird directions and, and everything. Um, Okay, so I'm not going to save it with all of the areas purchased. I just wanted to see what it looked like. Um, so anyway, um, that's it for this part. I'll see everyone back in the next part, which I believe will be part 14. Uh, thank you for watching.